On Wednesday, the Fed is expected to make a further announcement on raising interest rates in order to bring down the record inflation rate of 9.1% announced two weeks ago. Investors have begun the countdown to a 75 base point hike, which Fed Governor Christopher Waller himself had recently advocated. So, in the last two weeks or so, the morale of the cryptocurrency market had been boosted enough that last week we saw highs that we hadn't seen for over one month, in some cases even 45 days. The reality of the impact of the Fed's intervention, however, seems to have reminded investors that crypto is a risky product because of its high volatility, which may have led them to seek safer investments. Thus, the highs we saw last week have retreated, and since yesterday a steady downtrend is visible throughout the market. Bitcoin has moved well away from the $24,000 area it had briefly entered and is now just above $21,000, down 3.75% since yesterday. In a similar pattern, Ethereum is also down about 7% from yesterday, hovering at $1,400. The altcoins are following the path of the two big ones, having retreated to the levels they were at 10 days ago, with the only exception of Cosmos, which has been rising slightly in the past few hours. More specifically, Solana is at $35.87, minus 7.66%, Cardano at 0.46, minus 5.41%, Avalanche at 20.68, minus 6.72%, Polkadot at 6.71, minus 6.04%, Polygon at 0.75, minus 8.62%, Chainlink at 6.32, minus 7.35%, and Cosmos at 9.46, plus 1.23%. Finally, the VIX index fell to 22.41 in the early Asian hours, the lowest level since April 21st suggesting a calmness ahead of the Fed's interest rate decision. Given this, the drop in the crypto market, and Bitcoin in particular, is surprising, as Bitcoin tends to move in line with the riskier products and closely follow the sentiment on Wall Street.